हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइस कैसे हैं सब ठीक हो हम भी ठीक हैं मेरा नाम है रॉबिन शी सुप्रिया और आज हम आपके लिए लेके आए हैं बहुत ही अमेजिंग वीडियो एंड वीडियो का नाम है ट्वेल्व स्ट्रेन थिंग्स यू ओनली सी इन इंडिया आई मीन इंडिया का हमें आज पता चलेगा कि इंडिया में ऐसी कौन सी स्ट्रेन चीजें हैं जो हमें हमने आज तक नहीं देखी है मैं पता हो, पता हो, में ना हो ना हो सो so, कोई टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करते हम सीधा पहले वीडियो देखते हैं उसके बाद हम बताएंगे कि ये हमें सच में सही बोला है या मतलब लाइक समझ रहे सो चलो स्टार्ट सो हियर्स अ फन रिडल फॉर यू वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड आर वेडिंग रिंग्स वर्न ऑन द टॉस एंड पीपल सर्व बॉल्स इंस्टेड ऑफ वेव्स नो इट्स नॉट न्यू जर्सी फोक्स इट्स इंडिया एंड इट्स अ प्लेस फुल ऑफ ऑड कस्टम्स एंड क्यूरियोसिटीज यू प्रोबब्ली डिडंट नो अबाउट एंड गेस व्हाट टुडेस योर लकी डे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट इट फॉर एग्जांपल देयरस इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर Number 12, the quirks of Indian English. Now yeah. India is one of the largest English speaking countries in the world, second only to the US. But in a country with around 880 spoken languages, only 22 of which are even officially recognized, it's no wonder Indian English may sometimes tickle your ear in a strange way. For instance, If a person starts talking to you with a weird yar sound, don't worry, that's just the Indian way to say, "Hey dude." <laughs> Indians would probably ask your name with the phrase, "What's your good name?" And no, that doesn't mean you have some kind of a bad name that you somehow earned. It's just a way of being polite. And when an Indian person finally starts addressing you by your first name, they may add "g" to the end to show how much they respect you. Ah my dear bright cider g. <laughs> 11. Beautifully adorned toes. In India when two loving hearts decide to marry each other, the groom must put a wedding ring on his bride's toe. Oh. Yep, that's the custom. These wedding rings are called bichia and every bride wears bichia. them on both her second yes, toes bichia. as a sign of her newly married yes. state. There are other kinds of toe rings in India too. Some men wear them on their big toes in a belief that it'll boost their strength and vigor. Indians are famous for their love of gold, but toe rings are mostly made of silver because it's inappropriate to wear gold below the waist. <coughs> Number 10, unbreakable promises. Most people in India believe that a spoken word has immense power within it. And if you break a promise, you'll enrage spirits and deities. The most powerful promise is the promise of a mother. So, if an Indian person swears by this, then you better believe them if you don't want to come off as really rude. Number 9, the birthplace of plastic surgery. Among India's most sacred texts, there's one that baffles surgeons and medical experts to this day. It's called the Sushruta Samhita. and it's a fundamental part of the Indian practice of Ayurveda. It was written by the ancient Indian surgeon Sushruta somewhere between 1000 BCE and 500 BCE. The text describes tons of unbelievably complex surgical procedures, but the most fascinating thing is that it proves that India is probably the birthplace of all plastic surgery. Even for his time, Sushruta was totally capable of doing nose jobs or rhinoplasties if you want to be technical and earlobe reconstructions. Not exactly what would make movie stars seem forever young, but still impressive. Speaking of movies, number 8, twice the Hollywood. India's Bollywood is the largest film industry in the world. No, not Hollywood. Bollywood <laughs> produces about 1200 films every year. That's twice the amount that Hollywood puts out. And if you want to start an acting career in India, you better learn how to sing and dance since most of the movies produced there are musicals. This passion for musicals stems from a deep appreciation for Indian traditional dance and folklore. Also, it's no secret that Bollywood was inspired by Hollywood works from the 1920s to 1950s, many of which were musicals. Bollywood got its B from Bombay. the city where most indian films are produced which of course changed its name to mumbai in 1995 it seemed like yeah they should keep the b mollywood just you know isn't the same mollywood 
Number 7. Holy rats! I know, it sounds absurd, so let me explain. According to an ancient Indian legend, the mighty and worshipped warrior sage Karni Mata tragically lost her stepson Laxman when he accidentally fell in a pond and drowned. Karni Mata was in such grief that she begged the gods to save him. Well, they did, but on one condition. All of her male children would be reincarnated as rats. Ah, those wacky gods. What a unique sense of humor, huh? So that's why the temple devoted to Karni Mata in Deshnok is known as Rat Temple. Here you are, going through a huge hall, completely covered in rats. But people here are happy to come and share their food with these sacred long-tailed rodents. Hey, might be a relative. It's a particular honor to come across and feed the rare <laughs> white rats in the temple. They're believed to be the true reincarnation of Karni Mata and her sons. Number 6. Bull Surfing Whoa, gnarly dude! If you ever go to the village of Ananda Pali after harvest season, then you might be able to watch some bull surfing. Um, how do you surf a bull? Very carefully, I'd guess. You see, first off, they make a track on a flooded field that becomes pretty much a big muddy swamp. Then teams, yeah, it's a competitive sport, compete to stay on a board being pulled through the water by two bulls. These jockeys train for this event, and the bulls are groomed and cleaned with their horns being polished nice and shiny. Doesn't last very long. Can you see yourself hanging ten on a board driven by two really big mammals in your hands? And that's no bull. Wait, yes it is. Turf's up, dude. Number 5. Who to thank for your clean hair? Did you know the word shampoo has Indian roots? Well, that comes as no surprise since shampooing itself originates in India. The original word champu means massage and was initially used to describe the process of hair strengthening with herbs common in India. But India has good reason to pay so much attention to their locks. The country sells over $20 billion worth of hair in a single month. Such amounts are second only to China. But even this hair-selling giant mixes its product with Indian hair for better quality. Number 4. Serious Wildlife Conservation India gets a lot of criticism for its pollution problem, which there's no denying that it's a serious one. But that doesn't say anything about Indian people's attitude towards wildlife. There are 104 national parks in India, with over 15,000 square miles of overall coverage. Some of the rarest animals on Earth inhabit these parks, like the bizarre-looking purple frog, the smallest pig in the world, the pygmy hog, and the largest living bat, the Indian flying fox. <coughs> these endangered species are in severe need of protection, and India has proven itself very capable of wildlife conservation. Just take the country's national symbol as an example. In 2010, there were only between 1,700 and 1,900 Bengal tigers left in the world. But those numbers are now up to around 2,200. The Bengal tiger is still considered endangered, even though it's the biggest tiger species in terms of numbers. So you can imagine how grave the situation is for its cousins elsewhere. Number 3. Towers of Silence India is not only home to rare wildlife species, but some uncommon ideologies too. One of them is Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrians believe fire and earth to be sacred fundamental elements, so it's very bad for them to bury or cremate their departed. The solution they came up with was to build towers of silence for the deceased. Also known as dakma, these towers have no roof so that nature can step in and do the work as an undertaker. <laughs> The only towers of silence still functional to this day are in India. But um, let's move on to a place that's very much alive and definitely not silent. Number 2. Packed like sardines in trains. India has the fourth largest railway system in the world, with almost 42,000 miles of track overall. But if you want to keep a pleasant impression of this country in your heart, 
then you might want to avoid trains at all costs. Or, you know, if you're just curious to see people hang off the sides and ride on the roof of the train, then India is the place to go. Local commuter trains in India are unbelievably overcrowded most of the time, so even trying to get in one is pretty much impossible. And don't even bother trying to get a seat, you'd be wasting your time. But still, these crazy packed trains have sort of become a tourist attraction in and of themselves. But still, I'd take Uber or something for short distances if I were you. Number 1. Pageants for true beauties Hey, what's more beautiful than a huge Indian elephant? Can't think of anything? Hmm, that's a tough one. Well, the only real answer is the most beautiful Indian elephant, of course. There's a contest dubbed as such that happens each year on the full moon between February and March. And this pageant is a key part of Jaipur's famous Indian festival. Nowhere else in the world are these gorgeous giants celebrated like they are here. People get down to work preparing for the festival by cleaning the elephants and decorating them with an array of stunning embellishments and clothes. They even paint colorful designs on them. Then everybody votes for the most beautiful and gracious elephant at the festival. It's really nice to know that these kind and helpful creatures can get so much respect and love. Boy, you could see that one coming now, couldn't you? Hey, what's the most amusing fact about India that you know? Add your own points to the list in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side of life. मुझे पता है की लेडीज इसको एज ए मतलब मैरिज साइन पहनती है अभी भी पहनती है इन हिमाचल इन हिमाचल एंड ओल्ड एरिया पहनती है लेकिन जेंट्स पहनते हैं ये मुझे नहीं पता था मुझे भी नहीं पता मुझे नहीं पता था बट इट्स न्यू टू नो इट्स नाइस टू नो यस यस एंड इंग्लिश वाली बात तो बिल्कुल ठीक है बहुत है ना लाइक हमारे इंडिया में बहुत ज़्यादा लाइक इंग्लिश बोलते हैं लोग एंड यार वो ट्रेन वाली बात मतलब इतना रश होता है यार मुझे बता रहा ये बॉम्बे गए थे इन्होंने ये सीन देखा था तो तब मुझे मैं पर ट्रेन में गया नहीं मतलब मैंने देखा दूर से देख के वापस आ गया ट्रेन में कि मैं नहीं जा सकता इस ट्रेन में दैट वॉज सो स्केरी है मैं कैसे बाहर है ना जो लोग उनको एक्सपीरियंस हो गया हुआ है ना उनको बचपन से वहाँ पे रहे हैं उनको आदत है यार कोई चक्कर ही नहीं है हम तो बस ट्रेन अपनी है इसलिए वहाँ पे उनका जो मंदिर बना गया और रैट मतलब वहाँ चूहो को पूजा जाता है खाना डाला जाता है बहुत सारी चीजें यार हम हिस्ट्री का जो हम नहीं जानते थे यार हम इंडिया में रहते हैं हमें भी काफी चीजें नहीं पता थी लाइक टाइगर वाली थिंग वी नो एंड द फ्रॉग वो देखा वो मैंने फर्स्ट टाइम देखा फ्रॉग है वो वाली स्पीशीज भी अभी तक हमारे यहाँ सरवाइव कर रही हैं इट्स वेरी नाइस थिंग गुड गुड यार मतलब वी फील प्राउड टू बी एन इंडियन और बहुत लाइक मजा आया इस वीडियो को देखे वी रियली एंजॉय गाइज आपको कैसा लगा कमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर बताना और आप बताओ आपने इनमें से कौन सा आई मीन इंडिया का जो पहले पता था और जो आपको नहीं पता थी वो कमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर बताना और गाइज ऐसे ही हमारी वीडियोज को प्यार देते रहना क्योंकि हमें बहुत प्यार मिल रहा है टिल देन क्या करना है आपको टेक केयर करना है और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना है लाइक करो शेयर करो गाइज टिल देन टेक केयर बाय बाय स्टे होम